First comes love. Oh gosh, it's like uh, fireworks, uh, butterflies. Then comes. Is there someone here? A new study found infidelity is everywhere, but it may not be how you think. The Journal of Sexual and Marital Therapy found people think cheating is everything from lying about an affair to sending a text message or snap. They call it micro cheating. And here to talk with us about micro cheating, our relationship coaches, Chris and Jennifer Sider, dubbed the breakup experts. Good morning, guys. How are you doing? Good to see you. Good morning. All right, thanks so much for being with us this morning. And let's just get this right here on the table. What is micro cheating? Well, so micro cheating is really actually difficult to define because everyone has their own separate definitions of what cheating is and isn't. But the broad definition is really if you're engaging in a set of behaviors that really skirt the line between fidelity and infidelity. So the most common example is let's say you're at an office party and okay. you start flirting with someone and your partner is really not okay with that. That's micro cheating. And, but they could mean other things as well, right? Because when I think about maybe sending a text message to maybe an old friend or somebody from high school or something like that, could that be considered micro cheating? It really depends on the intensity and the frequency. And the intent, maybe, too. And right? the intent, right. exactly. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, it, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's interesting because, you know, when you think about things that we should be concerned about, I'm thinking about if I'm going through my husband's text messages and I see some flirty text messages from somebody, mm -hmm. I'm thinking that's one thing, right? And is that, what are some of the other warning signs <laughs> that we should be looking out for? Well, you know, one thing that I see a lot, and we are, we mostly work with people going through breakups. So mm -hmm. this is something we see a lot of, and that's if you get back in touch with your ex. So, for example, if you get back in touch with your ex and you start opening up to them in ways that maybe you shouldn't be or divulging information to them that you should kind of keep in your relationship, that's a pretty big warning sign. Okay. So, if you get back in touch with your ex, let's say, so I'm going to give you a personal example okay. of this. I got back in touch with my ex because his dad had passed away. Okay. That's completely different than Correct. getting friends. All right. Correct. So, I want to make sure yes. because when you say micro, how micro are we talking here? Not, not that okay. micro. <laughs> <laughs> not that micro. All all right, so how do you talk to your partner about what's acceptable and what's not acceptable? You should really take about 24 hours just to let your feelings settle because you're going to be really angry after you see something like micro cheating. Mm -hmm. So just take a little bit of time and have that conversation where you're not attacking your partner, and that will help a lot. Well, I also think tone is an important thing ah, to bring okay. to the conversation. So a lot of times, let's say you catch your partner micro-cheating, and it's not the good kind where you're getting back in touch with the next mm -hmm. and say, sorry, your parents passed away or something like that. If you come at this really aggressively, they're not going to be really receptive towards anything you have to say. Okay. But if you come at this kind of calm, serene, almost to say, like, look, I know the micro-cheating is kind of a bad thing, but let's just talk about this. They'll be a lot more receptive towards whatever you're saying. I have to ask you this, because I'm listening to what you're saying, and I'm accepting and absorbing okay. what you're saying, but I also have to play devil's advocate here a bit, because are we being a little too picky about this? I mean, don't we have other... There's so many things involved in a relationship, so many layers like an onion that we peel back, right. and then we talk micro-cheating. Is that just such a small part of what a relationship is about? Are we being too nitpicky here with this? I think we kind of are. It's, you know, micro-cheating is kind of a relatively new idea. You right. always get, like, I think the last thing that really happened was ghosting, right, where you just break up with someone by not even talking mm -hmm. to them. We always have, like, these little interesting niches that come up, and I think more than anything, it's kind of like a blip on the radar and okay. it kind of gets back to normal. Uh, but yeah, I do kind of agree with you. Yeah, well, that's what I like. What about you? <laughs> what would you say about it? We got to wrap though, but just give me t 20 seconds. Sure, of, yeah. I, I agree. Um, you just have to look at the intensity and the frequency of what's happening and just gauge it yourself. You'll know. Okay. You, how long have you been married? Uh, a Four couple years? years though. A couple and four. I know. Is that micro cheating? <laughs> 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 okay. All right, guys. Thanks so much Thanks for so being much. with us this morning. We appreciate you. Thank you, Chris and Jennifer. Bob, let's.